am I doing, Rocky? What am I doing, Rocky? Turn it on and off with this one. Mm. It has a timer. It has flames. Can I put the screen on? Yeah, go ahead. I, I turn the heater on. Listen, close enough. can you hear? Mm -mm. It almost sounds like a flame, too. I hope the cat doesn't get very wired here. Rocky, what is that, Rocky? What's going on in there? It's been a day of errands, you guys, and I haven't really filmed. I'm here at Rite Aid to pick up, to go to the pharmacy. Um, we've had doctor's appointments and legal appointments. Took care of a lot today. And just like that, one more check off, one more check on the to-do list today. It was a big to-do list. I think now we're gonna go to Taco Bell drive-thru. <laughs> Vlogmas day, Vlogmas day six. <laughs> it's Vlogmas day six already. Holy moly. How many days? 18 days. 18 days till Christmas Eve. Can you believe it? I'm actually going to back the car up in the carport or RV parking side of the house. Cause you know, my garage is just full of, full of fun stuff. So I actually have to put it over here. I'm trying really hard to get this car aligned and it's not I'm way off I'm gonna have to go forward oops okay I'm trying to set you up you guys let me turn you can't tell right now because this carport is really shady in here but the sun finally arrived today and it just just made me happy look at that you guys just look at those billowy clouds I love those clouds. I love seeing clouds like that. Just so pretty. Now that I told you that, getting back to Vlogmas. Today has not been a really good day for me to do any vlogging. I'm actually, I guess, I, I didn't have a chance to film at the doctor's office. 
we did have a um, a medical appointment here as well this morning um, I did have a legal appointment here as well this morning so those two worked out really good because they happened here I got one of those mango freezies from um, Taco Bell and it's so good I got it without the cream it's kind of tangy but it's good anyway I wanted to take a minute just to yap at you right here um, mom and I changed out the tablecloths in the dining room we didn't find a Christmassy tablecloth for the table but we did oops sorry trying to make you not so lopsided uh, we did find one for the credenza dresser thingy that's in there I don't even know what to call it and uh, we have 18 days 18 days until Christmas Eve I have not even popped open not one bin in the garage I do want to go get my smaller trees out and just kind of put you know more trees all over the place not all over the place just uh, a few more trees and and some candlesticks and I haven't even looked up a DIY to polish my brass excuse me to polish my brass candlesticks to try to keep this as classic as Christmas classic of a Christmas Christmas classic I'm just trying to keep it classic. I did dye my roots today, you guys. Yay. It's been a good productive day. It's 2.50 p.m. So it's still early. We got quite a bit done. I still need to do a load of laundry. And mom, we just got back. Um, me and my son just got back. So mom is in there. She didn't wait for me. We were supposed to sit down and write our Christmas cards together, but she's in there doing it already. Anyway, so I'll go show you. Oh, I don't know. I, I think I did take some footage. I ordered a heater. Looks like a fireplace, a fireplace insert. Um, and it also has a heater. The flames look really pretty. We put it inside my fireplace because right here where we live in this town, they changed the law with, you know, on their own. And I would need to go get, I would need to pay an annual fee to have some kind of certificate giving me permission uh, to light up my fireplace. If I, if I fired it, if I fire up my fireplace, I can get fined by the city. Uh, I'm not going to give you my opinion. But anyway, back when that happened, I had an estimate that a company come out and give me an estimate on putting a, an electric insert in my fireplace. And oh my God, that was like in the thousands. This is so pretty, you guys. I only pay like a hundred bucks and change from Amazon. I'm going to put the link down below and I'm going to show you how pretty it is. It looks like a real fire inside the fireplace. Plus, it makes, it gives off heat too to keep the, the front room, the living room warm. So it just looks real cozy and nice. And I'm excited about that. I love it. It was really easy to put together oh, too. This garage is horrible. We're drying off tell still from from the flood the other day. Um, I'm gonna get into these bins. I just bought another one of those. I had one already. So I know a lot of the smaller trees are in these bins. We'll get to them in just a minute. It's always a process. Everything is just a slow process. Okay, come on. That's the whole reason why Rocky has that little harness right there. It did kind of slow him down just a teeny bit. But see now he's, he's blocked in. Mom put this, but it's not Christmas. That's a fall. We're going to have to go buy some 
uh, tablecloths. Anyway. Okay. Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. 18 more days. Wow. Anyway, let me turn this around. Let me show you the smaller trees that I pulled out of Christmas storage. So I found three of these. They're gorgeous. And I think we got these one year at Big Lot. I don't remember where we got that, but I love it. And hi, honey, you checking that out? These, um, that tree right there plugs in and so does the fruit one next to it. The gold one does not. These are things mom brought over. She got rid of a lot of her gorgeous, very beautiful Christmas decorations, but she held on to some. And these are some of the things. And this is Rocky's very first Christmas, and he's really excited, aren't you, Rocky? Yes, you are. Yes. He's fascinated with everything, but so far he's been a good boy. Look at how he he does love to to rest on that armrest. He's such a good boy. Are you looking at my necklace? Are you looking at the necklace, honey? He's so cute. He's such a sweetheart. Stinker, but he's a sweetheart. My pants. Let go. Salji's snoring over here. I think I'm going to turn the fireplace and the heater off because it's like super hot in here. These, you guys, I'll show you the box later. But these are what I was talking about, what I got, Mom audio range and it's on that's why there's no volume coming out of the TV but I have it sitting back here I'm just gonna um, charge it while she's busy over there sometimes we forget to charge it resting on there it oh, you can see my blinking <laughs> necklace back here but anyway it just stays red and that's a good thing. She loves it. She can hear every word for all, every movie and everything that she watches on TV. She can finally hear everything. So Rocky decided to act up. Hold on, let me fix my hair. Uh, I, I think I told you I dyed my roots today. We had an appointment and then I got home, dyed my hair, washed it. So it's nice and fresh. I hid all the silver gray or most of it. And I got tired right now. In fact, I'm burning up <laughs> um, because I was going back and forth and I move slow. So I'm not going to. Um, Mom and I pulled out the other smaller trees that we have and they need to be fluffed and then we're gonna figure out you know we're just gonna kind of distribute them out throughout the house and I will take you guys along with me during that process we'll probably do that tomorrow or the next day I'm not sure but I have I'll take you guys along with the process or show you for sure um, how we do it um, like I said, I'm trying to keep this Christmas classic, simple, classic, and I want to get that stuff out. It's only a few days, um, 18 days, 17 days. I don't know. Pull out your calculator and tell me. <laughs> and I want to get past all the doctor appointments this week and then kind of settled oh and finish the christmas cards mom's just sending a few out mm. like i said i want to get past all the appointments yes i have a ceiling fan on because i'm burning up and in the next week i want to set up the table 
and pull out everything and make our Christmas tamales and store them in the deep freeze and get those ready for Christmas. We're gonna go ahead and, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna cook them and everything and then let them cool down and then I'll bag them and, and freeze them for, so we can have that ready for Christmas. We were, Mom and I were talking about Christmas Day. I'm not enthused at all about making anything special for that day because I plan on being in my pajamas watching um, the Christmas story like we do every year. That's our little classic, um, simple way of spending the Christmas. I do make a Christmas breakfast casserole and and biscuits so and biscuits and gravy and a breast breakfast casserole that i don't mind doing that's easy to put together and it's cooked or baked in the oven which is awesome but like i said i plan on staying in my pajamas that day i love doing that watching movies grazing and just kicking it enjoying the day what do you guys do for christmas on christmas day our family is not like when my kids were little, there was like, I felt like there was a lot of us and everybody would, um, you know, pre-plan and do a potluck, get together. Sometimes we would get together before Christmas, um, like on my dad's side of the family. But honestly, I love every member on my dad's side of the family. But I'm going to keep it really. Since my dad passed away, I don't know if we got excluded or they just stopped. I don't really hear it too much from that side of the family. It's it's rare. We do, you know, thumbs up each other and heart each other in Facebook. But that's about it. Um, that's it. So, like I said, that stopped. I don't know if they stopped it. We don't know. Oh, an effort not to... Uh, continue my long-winded self because you know I can be really chatty uh, what do you guys do or what do you suggest for a small family like mine to do on Christmas Day just like I would I'm I'm like contemplating on creating a new tradition a simple one an easy one but a fun one let me know how you guys, how, what your favorite, absolute favorite Christmas tradition, what it is.